there's a multitude of videos on YouTube telling you all sorts of wrong stuff about this and I think YouTube just needs a video to put people in the picture so the unpaid guy he look quite well confusing but if you break it down it is quite simple really I'll do a bit of sniffing and sorting and then we'll explain what you do You might notice I've left the black one out. All will be explained, don't worry. Standby. These two are your switches. The black is the ground. Blue is minus 12 volts. White is minus 5 volts. Yellow is plus 12 volts. And red is plus 5 volts. Now I'm going to put this in a little bit of a more user-friendly state and then um, I'll cut back for another montage So let's get this over now. I'll do this as you can see and um, I'm going to try and get this all these wires into the back of this box here. Right, what I'm going to do first for now is these switch wires. I am going to fit a switch eventually. But for now, I'm just going to make it permanently on because I haven't actually got a bit here at the moment. I'm just going to take that off. Nothing's going to happen to that. It's only going to be there for a couple of weeks. Alright, so we can start putting this whole thing together. Get yeah. not. Let's put these in some kind of order. I would like the ground first, I think. There you go. Okay. Right, so I'm going to try and keep all 
the minus leads on that same row together. So if I put the minus five now next to that, same configuration. Nothing comes out when it's switched off at the wall. There you go. Right, so I'm going to ground. It's a 12 volts. You've got 11.9. Ground to 5. 5. 4.8. 5. Ground to 3.3. And what do you know? Three point three. Minus twelve. Three point three. We've got fifteen point three volts there. So I'm going to add a few more bits to that circuit, and that's what we're going to make the battery charger from. This circuit ground to plus five will charge the phone. And USB devices, I'm going to do a bank of USB plugs in my shed for that. And this one here, 11.9 volts, but that's a good 12 volt supply for <coughs> any other little bits I want to do in the shed, including a hydrogen generator, which is going to be one of my upcoming projects. Um, but to make this whole thing a bit more user friendly, I want something that I can push on there with plugs and all the malarkey that we need and um, it will turn it into a more usable piece of equipment so if you want to see that um, don't forget to subscribe 